let's learn about triangle let's understand what a triangle is if you have three if you have if we take three lines let's say that this is line one this is line two these two lines are intersecting and we have another line that is this one. and all these three lines are intersecting each other let's say that this is L this is line M and this is line N so these three lines are intersecting each other and if 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 you can see that it's intersecting at three different points right so this is one point this is one point and this is another point so these three points let's denote them by some letter this is a this is b and this is c now if you see that if we look at this if you look at this particular section that is this one and this one and this so if we take this section that's being formed after the intersection of these three lines then you can clearly see that this under the green color so this three line segments that is AB this is BC and this is CA these are three line segments and clearly they are forming a simple closed curve it's a simple closed curve it's a polygon and it's a triangle so triangle is a very is a most basic type of or the most simple type of polygon having three sides and three vertices it has three sides so if a polygon has three sides then that polygon is a triangle that polygon is a triangle again I'm repeating a B B C and C A these are the three line segments three line segments are forming a simple closed curve therefore this will be a polygon and this polygon having three sides will be a triangle so what are the three sides of this triangle okay before that to represent or to denote a triangle we use this triangle similar thing like this pattern we denote it using this symbol that is triangle and we can write it as triangle ABC we can write it as triangle BAC we can write it as triangle BCA we can write it as triangle CBA right so the point is that you have three vertices and you can simply write it as you know uh, you can denote this triangle by using any three vertices irrespective of what order you are taking you can write ABC CAB whatever okay so this is a way to represent a, a triangle okay what are the three sides of this of this triangle so of course this is side 1 AB then you have BC and then you have CA okay it has three vertices A B C it has it has three angles that is this angle this angle and this angle so the first angle is angle BAC second is angle ACB and angle CBA these are the three angles of this triangle okay let's take one problem okay so this is about uh, you know this is, is the introduction to uh, triangle and 
If you remember that in the video series in, uh, of uh, angles, we discussed the interior and exterior to a given angle. So in this case also, like any polygon, like any polygon, a uh, triangle is also kind of polygon, it will have an interior and exterior of this triangle. So this region, this whole region, that's, that lies in between these three vertices, that is enclosed between these three vertices, this region, this region, this will be interior, this will be interior of this triangle, this region will be interior and this whole outside region, that is whatever lies outside of this triangle of this triangle will be exterior will be exterior of this will be exterior of this triangle so interior and exterior and if there is any point let's say that if if we have if we have a point d here then d will be in the interior d will be in the interior of this triangle abc if we have point e here is also interior to this triangle but if we have some point say x here and y here z here or say let's say a point h here so these x y z and h these are exterior to this triangle okay but if you look at this triangle a b c then you can clearly see that though these are the vertices a b and c but they are on the triangle they are on the triangle so these point vertices will always be on the triangle okay and even if i take some point let's say if i take some point here if i take some point here and if i let's say that it is what is it is s then if i take it point t here if i take point u here then s t u s t u and the word is this, a b c a b c these will be on the triangle these points are on the triangle on the triangle a b c so exterior interior and on the triangle so this these are the three regions of any triangle and if i ask you if i ask you that let's say that we have we have uh, something like this Let's say that okay. So this is point A, this is point B, this is point C, and this is point D. Now look at this figure very carefully and tell me, pause this video and tell me that how many triangles are in this given figure. Okay, so if you can clearly see that points a b and d this is these three points are forming one triangle so the first triangle will be triangle a b d if you take points a d and c then these three points will act as vertices and they will form triangle a d c if i take point a b and c then these three points are forming another triangle and that is triangle a b and c so this is the way to tell how many triangles is uh, in a given figure you have to just look at the figure very properly and just you know try to you know 
uh, just find out how many triangles is possible in this in any given figure using three points and those three points will act as vertices of that given triangle.